Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, story time. Body story time. This time, we have, we're going to uh, learn about a city. And if you look from Google Map to the city, it looks like the body. And it's called the body city. Yeah? So that's the name of that city. And what we're going to learn now, how the energy production and the transportation in the city works. So let's choose one area. Anyone? What would you like to choose? The leg? Let's choose the leg, this area. And now we're going to take it to the next page. So in the next page, it's like we're taking our magnifying glass and going and see under the microscope what happened in the city. So if we had a Google map, now we're zooming in to the city and really start seeing lots of details. So what you see, you start looking at houses. And the houses arrange in in rows. So you have one row of houses here, and you have another row of houses there. And this is just giving you an example because there are millions and billions of houses. Yeah? And in each house, the family or a person lives. Now, we need to supply these houses with something like energy, what you need food or you need, you know, um, you need to waste product removal, right? So we have streets, right? So there is a street here, and there is another street running there. Now this street somewhere meeting to create a bigger street. Right? So this is a street, and this is another street, and now you have other streets coming and creating a motorway. Yeah? Now in this city, I didn't tell you, but the city council decided no more traffic jams. We don't want any traffic lights, nothing. All the traffic works in one direction. They want efficiency. They fed up with, you know, clotting and clogging. So all, all of it works in one direction. So then, here, you have a, the motorway. And the motorway goes to a very interesting place that is a building with two sections. On one section is the supermarket. So people from the houses, when they need food, whatever, they go into the car, drive to them, and they go right into the supermarket, yeah? Now the second part is a waste plant or a waste yard. Because the council in Bodhi City is very smart. They're saying that if you take the trip to the supermarket, why don't it would be the same trip to throw your rubbish? Does it make sense? Quite efficient, isn't it? So you're not traveling for no reason. Great. So after the car is coming to the supermarket, shopping, we, we, I can't describe what happened in the supermarket, but we will. Basically, in the supermarket, there are still, it's like supermarket, like um, drive-in supermarket. Yeah? You don't get out of your car. You go into a till, so you have from the motorway, you have small streets in the supermarket, and then every car, get the shopping, get the shopping, go to the waste yard, put the waste yard, it's very efficient, they don't have to leave the car very quickly, all high tech. After
after the, the cars getting the food and getting the waste product removed, where do you think it goes back? To the streets. To the streets. Yeah, it goes back to the street, and then you will have some of the motorway go there, and some go to other streets, and then slowly it gets back to our. Yeah, here it goes to other places. Yeah, so it's like nice system. They they the council is really proud of having it well organized and well efficient. That in a supermarket there is no stop. Cars just go in, get in, get the uh, what they need, stuck into the car. The car even barely stop. And it goes back to here, waste product, throw that, and go back to the house. And in the house, the transportation, the traffic getting slow. So the car can kind of park, get all the groceries. Yeah? Now, what I didn't tell you is that there are not only one supermarket, but a few. Okay? So that would be like maybe food supermarket, there would be another supermarket for, I don't know, for appliances, okay? So you would have here sometimes a detour to kind of another supermarket, and then it will come back. Yeah? So sometimes the transportation goes this way, sometimes that way. Yeah? So that's really explain how the things in in <coughs> body city works. It's very complex. It's really big. You have lots of cell, uh, lots of um, houses, and um, you need to organize in a way that the transportation would be efficient. Okay. Now with this story, let's see what do you think each one of these represents. So. What do you think each one represents? So, what do you think they represent this, these houses? Cells. Is the cells. And the cells arrange in streets. Mm -hmm. And the streets is the blood vessels. But is those the bigger blood vessels or the smaller ones? The smaller, the smaller one. How would we call them, do you remember? Capillaries. Capillaries, yeah. Capillaries are the teeny weeny small ones. The, the traffic is very slow. Why? Because you need to offload the supermarket stuff from the car into the house. What do you think the cars are? Blood cells. Blood cells, yeah, or plasma. And we learn what's the difference between those. And then lots of streets coming into a motorway. What's the motorway? Artery. Artery. Then it goes to the supermarket. What would be the supermarket? Could be the heart, but the heart actually doesn't give you energy. It could be the lungs. When you get, what do you get in the lungs? Oxygen. And in the lungs, you also remove your waste product. What's the waste product there? Carbon dioxide. And that's exactly how the lungs works. Bring oxygen, take carbon dioxide away. And that's the efficiency that the lung is. Yeah. Then from there, it goes back to the streets. These parts is still a motorway, but it's the other side, and these are the veins, yeah? And it goes back to the streets. And there is a circulation, yeah? Now, what could be other, we talked about one of the supermarket, which is the um, lungs. lungs. Mm -hmm. What could be other supermarkets? Could be the heart. Yeah. Digestive system. Pancreas. Liver. Pan yeah. Sorry? Pancreas. Pancreas. So you see there would be lots of uh, um, supermarket places where you kind of do something to help. Then one of the supermarkets would be a filter. That would be the liver. Yeah? So there is many stops on the way. Yeah? Now, one thing we need to talk is about the heart. Yeah? In this diagram, it's not exactly how the body works because there is no heart. Because in the city, the cars has the engine. But apparently, 
is not efficient. So in our body, we have one organ that makes this whole thing move, and that's the heart. Yeah? So if, imagine there would be a pump here, mm -hmm. and it pumps, and it makes the whole circulation work. And we need to know where to direct it. Okay? So hopefully, if you are confused, coming back to this diagram, coming back to what we know, may help you tremendously if you stuck, like, Ooh, what happened to the blood here? What happened to the blood here? Is the blood here has oxygen or not? So we try to then compare and contrast to see how to make it easier. Okay? Cool.